Hello, welcome to a Let's Play Sim City. Uh, I am so excited. I have been playing this game since it very first came out. I've been playing um, Sim City since Sim City 3000. So, but I absolutely love this game, and I was in the mood to play, so I thought, why not record it and share some of the tips that that I have picked up over the years. And let's say you are a new to the game, you just got it, or you've played it and, and you've run into some, some difficulties. So let's, let's start a city. And let's go here, let's start. Game. I do want a large city, lots of s plots. I don't know if we'll go that long. Really what I wanna do is I wanna get a city started successful and also making enough money where that city can send money to to other cities so really what i'm focusing on in the beginning is to get a city started and then we'll see um if i do all 16 slots um that's that's to be seen but let, let's get started here I'm not even going to spend time. I, I spend too much time trying to think of the name of the region. We're not doing sandbox mode. Let's see here. So when I start a city, I love to get lots of oil, lots of water. I would like a little more wind. Let's see. Right. And we may end up Yeah, not a big deal. Let's which one? Let's do this one. That's enough win. Really what I really need is water and oil. So let's get started here. Yeah, like I said, I've been playing this game since since it first came out. And there are a couple of things that that are really important to keep in mind so that your city can, can be successful. I just find it so relaxing. All right, first of all, let's pause. Now, the very first thing that you have to focus on, lower right, click on the wind. The wind is absolutely critical. So you see what direction the wind is blowing in. So what this means is everything that is polluting, dirty, I need. I know that I need to build my industry, my power plant, um, waste, garbage. All of that needs to be uh, downwind because you can really create some health issues. Next thing is water. So if dirty is here, another thing that's important is you want to make sure that your water because it's coming out of the ground. You do not want your water coming out of polluted ground. And then, since this is our beginning city that we're gonna be making money, I also wanna work on oil. And there's my oil. So, once again, wind, water, oil.
I'm going to start out with dirt roads since that is the absolute cheapest. Let's get an idea how we want to do this. So let's do industry, residential up there. Something really important to keep in mind is, and one thing that I noticed, especially on some of the earlier videos, is you will see the road leading into the city. People will start building on that road. And what happens is all of your transportation people coming in, they're coming in from a highway, but then they have to take a one lane in or out back to a three lane. And if you start building houses, factories, stores, anything on this on this road, that's when you really start to run into some major traffic issues. So the one thing that you're gonna notice that I do is I don't build on the main road. So let's do this. And I like roundabouts. So let's start here. Should be good. Dirt road in. And this is eventually going to become, that's going to become highway. But for right now, let's try to be as frugal as possible. Let's make sure that we're not building on top of our oil. So what we may end up doing is we may use that oil patch. Let's take another look. Let's see here. Yeah, let's do that. residents in still got plenty of money And the one thing that you're going to notice, I am not doing four-way intersections. Uh, the Sims in this game, the residents, they struggle with four-way intersections. So you're going to see a lot of T intersections, but you're not going to see a four-way. This is dirt road, but this and this roundabout and the road leading to residence and the road leading to my industry, I'm going to treat as highway. Let's get the game started. There. Nice. You have to start the game in order for things to become. So now when you look at the this area here, the game kind of tells you what's most important. So the beginning of your game, and they're blinking, 
power, water, and sewage are your most important items. So with power, and we're going to start with wind power, and we're going to change that eventually. But let's do... And it's not dirty, but we'll leave it in industry. Nine miles an hour. Sewage, definitely. And you can even see the indicator. It's showing you the wind. So it, it's letting you know that this is important to keep this downwind. All right. And then water. water tower we're gonna do this for right now this is not going to stay there actually let's do this no it'll be okay for right now let's just see how much Still have money left over, which is good. Let's do industry. Commercial. We may have to update this. This may be too much commercial for right now, but we'll see. All right, let's start the game. Come our first residents. <laughs> Some of them are leaving. There we go. It's going to be commercial. Some houses being built. Now you'll notice I have not set anything else up. The first game is going to be, the first city is going to be a bit forgiving. So don't feel like you have to be in a rush. Really right now, the three big things that you need to focus on electricity water and sewage and eventually somebody will show up there to work Got houses. For sale signs. So now while people are moving in, 
Let's talk about one of the most important factors of the game, and that's traffic. And the reason why I don't put... why I leave this free. So, in earlier versions of SimCity, the traffic that you would see, whether it's cars or people walking, was really just done to make the city look like it was alive. The game was functioning... Just making sure the game was functioning and the traffic was just it, it would just indicate how the city was doing but the traffic was not actually a real part of the game in this version of sim city the traffic is an important part of the game so the individuals in the city as they travel each car actually means something so every morning so it's 8 46 a.m every morning what is going to happen in the morning your sims are going to leave work and they're going to attempt to go to work so they will attempt to go to work at a factory or they will attempt to go to work at a commercial location in that business day, when they finish their shift, they will get paid. And when they leave work, as they're heading home, they will either go home and then go to shop or on their way home, they will do some shopping. So in, a bus in one day, each day, if a sim is able to get to work, make some money, do some shopping or go to a park. Either way, shopping or going to a park contributes to their happiness. And at the end of the day, if they can get home having made money and having done something that was fun, then they will be happy and they will pay taxes. Your factories. Your factories need a certain number of individuals to work every day the factory is expecting hoping that employees will show up they will produce goods and then the factory needs to get those goods sent out of the city or sent to a commercial location to be purchased if that happens successfully then the factory is happy and it will pay taxes your commercial location same situation your commercial location is looking for somebody to show up for work and for shoppers at the end of the day if people can show up to work and shop then your commercial location is happy and they will pay taxes There are some other things that go into it that we'll talk about in a while, but that's that's really the, the basis of what we're trying to accomplish. Let's get a town hall. I need a little bit more space. I'm sorry. Let's do a straight line. Okay, let's do town hall. So now with taxes, 
once I set the taxes, I tend to not really do much changing with the taxes. So for low wealth, I'll set the taxes at 12%. Medium wealth, 11%. And high wealth, 10%. This is determined for me to name the city. So let's just um, Pacific Shores. All right, wonderful. We've got people moving in. So we are making money. So we're at $20,000. We're making $13.80 an hour. We have 228 people in our city. One thing that I like to do periodically, I just like to kind of... So electricity, what we need, 0 0.6 megawatts. Capacity, 2.7. Water. sewage garbage is nine thousand dollars I don't want to take a lot of chances with garbage that can start to get out of control so let's do once again garbage I want to be downwind That's a little close to my road. Let's find someplace else. That's all going to change, but I don't want to be quite that close, just in case. You know what? Let's just... Let's do it. Let's do here. Okay, got my garbage dump. And as you can see, I'm just working my way down. So power, water, sewage, government, and now waste. Relatively soon, I'm going to want an incinerator. I can't afford an incinerator just yet, but I'm, I am going to want that because I don't want to keep putting down um, dump zones. It takes up space and pollutes so the game is forgiving really I'm not exactly sure on the number but I believe that it's 1,000 residents before the game really starts to hit you with fire health and police I like to try to get those down before I get to 1,000 residents, but that's roughly from what I've seen and what I've noticed. That, that's about when the game starts to say, okay, we're going to start to... He's complaining about the taxes. Let's go ahead, lower them just a bit. We'll do 10%. We'll bring it back up. Uh, and that's a good point. The advisors. So your different advisors. They may say something, but remember, this is this is your city. Don't let the advisor get you into trouble. And what I mean by that is your advisor is going to make suggestions or say something is out of control when it really isn't. So you be the judge of how everything is going. One thing I do like to do is I do like to have a surplus of available jobs. That's going to be very important. But we're off to a good start. 
So the city is making money. Nothing burned down, nothing abandoned. And then once again, So I, I may not do anything with this plot of oil. Maybe this one. Well, maybe I'll do a little bit with some of this oil, but definitely this oil. So as you can see, I have an area here for industry. And then I've got a nice size area that's going to be for residential. glad you're here I've got my cup of coffee just relaxing today playing a little Sim City, and thought I would record it so now we're earning 2140 an hour so our money is going up which is wonderful closing in on 500 residents So once again, I have not built anything on my major roadways. I don't want any traffic because the thing is, is keep in mind, let's So when you look at this road, each one of these businesses or each one of these houses basically as far as the game is concerned is an intersection so and and the thing that you'll see especially once we start to get a bigger city let's see if we can find somebody building well nevertheless if there is a fire here or if the police have to come or if there is a medical emergency or eventually when we have buses or garbage a garbage truck will sit here and then we'll move here and then we'll move there traffic will be stuck behind that garbage truck traffic will be stuck behind a fire truck or or just normal traffic so if you start building on your main road you're basically creating lots of mini intersections and and the sims just aren't capable of understanding that or going around the traffic and that's how you can get yourself into trouble so whether it's a roundabout or some other shape if you look at any of my cities you'll see that i am i'm making it easy to get in and out of the city and to get from area to area doesn't mean that there will not be any traffic but we're trying to minimize that that outrageous amount of traffic that can happen especially once the city starts to get get bigger we are going to want to think about fire fire seems to be the the most important early on and then health good let's take out take out a bond 25,000 bond and it's only 173 an hour so let's do that just give ourselves a little bit more money couple of things to keep in mind when you start building your fire health 
is that it raises the medium wealth land value. So you may not want to put fire down close to residential because you may start to change the wealth of the area. And that may not be what you want to do just yet. So one thing that I like to do and once again from a traffic standpoint there better Now eventually I will have fire and health and whatnot mixed, but once again, I don't want my fire trucks, I don't want my ambulances, I don't want the police to have to fight traffic, especially early on. So we're closing in on 1,000 residents. So once again, let's just be on the safe side down fire. With my fire truck, fire department, this is my edit, and you'll see the fire alarm. Fire trucks are dispatched twice as fast. It's $3,000 and $75 an hour, but that's well worth it. I still have a surplus of jobs. I'm trying to remember if I even built industry up here. I don't think I did. Not enough freight consumers. So did you notice that? Not enough freight consumers. One thing that you can do to offset that is they want to send freight and there may not be enough commercial locations for the freight. So you can go to specialization, click on trading, and let's do maybe here. Yeah, it's not a bad spot. It's $10,000, but now that's going to make industry happy, and that should actually start to fill up. So this is a trade depot. Put a sign. And each one of these, so that's a freight shipping warehouse. So over time, that will start to fill up with freight. So now the factories, in addition to having the commercial places to send their freight to, the factories can also send their freight here, and that's going to make the factories happy. other thing that we can do let's let's kind of turn this into like a, a square for not only the government town hall but let's also do some commercial here All right let's grow a little bit let's add some
when you click on a road the game will suggest where to put your next road I do tend to stick to a grid, um, the size of the city, and that's that's one thing that I would love. I just wish the city was a little bit bigger, so I'm not saying that this game is absolutely perfect. I love it, but yes, I would love if the city was a little bit bigger. Um, lots of curved roads. I get into in, Latin, in cities other than my starter city. Right now, I'm trying to get people in Start making some money. Once again, T intersections. Commercial. And because this is a dirt road, the density, so we're going to need to upgrade that at some point. And then let's do... I don't want intersections too close to each other as also, so let's kind of... Well, it'll be okay. We'll have to make some changes here at some point. soon as I built it see that uh, in the game they want to find the shortest path from one location to another so a lot of times they may not take the smartest path but they will take the shortest path so by adding that you see how I kind of reduce some of the congestion here Once again, you'll notice my major roads, I'm not building on them. Check out freight. So he was complaining about the freight, but there's no freight. Oops, sorry about that. Eventually, we will outgrow this power plant. City Hall. So I need to get to 5,000 residents. And once I get to 5,000 residents, then I can start to upgrade. And the most important thing that I'm going to want to upgrade are my utilities. Most importantly, Upgrade the outflow pipe. I'm going to upgrade 
uh, water. But for right now, everything is well. If you look at the power, I'm going to need to upgrade it at some point, but I'm not even using half the power that I'm producing. I'm, 20, I'm only using 20% of water and less than 1%. Less than 10% of sewage. But of course, that's going to change. That can change quickly. We're making good money. Let's go ahead and take out another bond. And let's up our taxes just a touch. Traffic's moving well. A lot of um, moving trucks. At some point, we'll have to address this. So this intersection is so close to this intersection. You notice I have a bit of a backup. So we'll have to address that. Two thousand people. Let's not take any chances. Like I said, the game is forgiving, but to do health. I like to put the first clinic right about people start out as sick. They will drive or walk to the clinic, so I like like it right in the middle eventually I'm gonna want a clinic that's gonna be a clinic dedicated to, the, to my industry a clinic dedicated to this we're going to need to get into schools soon now you notice he complained about schools once again don't let them tell you what to do. And I think when I upgrade, I may shift my roundabout over a bit. Well, that was our first day. I don't think we've had nighttime yet. I think this is our first nighttime experience. Let's kind of speed up. I will do llama speed. I never do cheetah speed. Things can get out of control really quick. Every once in a while you want to check your bulldoze to make sure nothing needs to be bulldozed either from being abandoned or fire so what you'll notice and I'll try to remember to do this everybody is at home And then once 6 a.m. rolls around, you'll see cars start to work their way from there to there. We're making good money. But it's all about not rushing. I know it would be wonderful to immediately start in and Start drilling for oil, but that's how you can get yourself into trouble by just by just jumping in, just gradual. And you want to make sure you've got 
a good foundation. There's no need of drilling for oil until you've got a lot of the basics down. So I'm going to need a police department before I start worrying about oil. Also, I want to make sure I've got my utilities set as well. So we're closing in on that. We're making good money. Let's maybe take out another bond just for a nice cushion. So making good money from residents. Commercial will always be the lowest. Eventually, we'll make more money from residents than from industry. But otherwise, you can see we're barely, we're only spending $519 for those bonds. So that, that's a good trade-off. Upgrade. Let's slow back down. I want I want to show the people leaving for work. Upgrade. Excellent. All right. And like I said, now we can make So there are several modules. First thing, let's there's it's only $200. Let's put down a So you've got the Department of Education, which believe it or not, is not that important um, and I'll show you why later on it's important for high schools and universities Department of Finance that that is going to become important because that way we can control our taxes across the board Department of Safety hospitals fire stations police precinct once again, you think that's going to be important, but there's it's not going to be important. Tourism, transportation, utilities. Utilities by far is important. Then transportation. Let's go ahead and get our utilities set. Excellent. Right. I won't be able to do another until I get to 15,000 residents. But now what I just did was I unlocked better water and better sewage. Let's get to our garbage dump. So I don't forget, it's not important right now, but I just don't want to forget. I do want to do the incinerator. Well, let's, let's hold off. As you can see, when I click on that, my, my capacity of the dump is not that high. So... Oh, 5 a.m. It's almost 6 o'clock in the morning. Let's speed up. little rain I do miss from SimCity 3000 I miss the, the more dynamic weather I miss the thunderstorms okay it's almost 6 a.m. and you will see it's 6 a.m. Now we start to get a little bit more activity. Let's 
people start to work their way from home to the factories. So I want to upgrade my roads. I think I'm going to pause that. Let's see. I'm going to need to relocate water. Potentially. Let's see where my water is. No. Let's also take a look at ground pollution. We're going to pause the game. And I want to do some upgrades here now that we've made some money. It's going to ask me if I'm sure that I want to do this because of the water tower. Yes. Yes. Do that. Do that. Do that. And let's come out just a bit. this is. Let's do medium density. Seven thousand six hundred seventy two. Okay. And then let's bring this in. Curve it. Let's see how much this is. Not bad at all. Five thousand dollars. Now, before I release this, my road from my industry is going to be really close to that expressway. So what I want to do is I'm trying to get, I don't want a lot of intersections close to each other. So let's do this. So we're going to come in and M on the keyboard if, if you're using so M okay now Great, these roads. Is everything connected? Ye yes. Upgrade. Low, medium, high, low, medium, high, 
low, medium, high. So nothing's going to build on these roads. And probably, for instructional purposes, I probably should have just slowly upgraded these roads, but I think you get, I think you get it. Let's make a little bit of money, and then I want to upgrade the rest of the roads, and I'm sure you're already remembering that. water. Let's get water here. Let's shift it just a bit away from that. Eventually, let's look at the water again. Eventually, I want to get, I want to be way over here for my water. All right. Now, much better. Much better. All right. We are growing. So I've got power. Well, that's a good idea just to check it. Okay. And switch government. And when you click on government, you see mostly green happy people. Garbage. It's 7 a.m. We have collected 48 garbage cans. We need to collect 560. So we'll keep an eye on that. I've got two garbage trucks. Nothing is caught on fire. Oh, fire in the city. Now, look at that. See that? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See my backup? So now, if that fire had happened on a major road, that's how you can start to to get backups. So let's say I had a fire as well as garbage was trying to be collected. That's where you can get into, into trouble. Health. So I've got somebody sick there. I've got Eight people being treated. I can treat ten. Nobody waiting in the waiting room. There goes an ambulance. $30,000 for that. Well, we're doing well. Nothing abandoned. 68% approval ratings, and it's going up with residential, commercial, industry. It's not going up, but it will. Making money. My advisor is happy, which is good. 
I have a nice service road I can put some other things on we still need to work on police schools we're gonna need transportation need some parks See how much this is. Let's upgrade to two thousand dollars. It's not bad. Two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars. And traffic is going to move. As you go up in density, traffic moves quicker and more efficiently. So dirt road was good to get us started. And it is possible to start with low. I just wanted to start with dirt road just to show. I've got health issues. Let's upgrade that. And they may be panicking for nothing, but we'll see. Let's take a look and see. Yeah. So what's going on here? Lots of health issues. Nobody's dying. And I see one, two... I see two sick people. So once again, lots of health issues, but really everything's okay. And then you notice it went from yellow to normal. So just don't don't let it get you to the point where you're panicking. Now we've got freight. And it's full. So, let's add a freight warehouse. And that might be one of the reasons why industry was not as happy as they could have been. But, not bad. How are my jobs? Okay, so, starting to get close with jobs. See that? 155 available jobs. 510 available jobs for medium wealth. So we're going to do two things. We're going to add on to industry. And we're going to up the wealth. Let's do this also. Let's make another way to get to Let's do curve. Let's do that. That.
this. Stick with low. Let's see how I want to do this. Let's do. Let's do factory. This is going to be for factory. this and let's get Because I want a major road. Well, no, it doesn't have to. Let's let's feed into here. Lose some of this. Yeah, let's, okay, overthinking it. Let's feed into here. So remember, they want the easiest path. So I don't want to add on any more traffic for here. Let's do some traffic here. And the good thing, you can always change update there and my oil I always want to keep an eye to make sure I'm not encroaching so I've got a large patch of oil there. And then let's get some more residents in. Actually, let's start the game. I want to go ahead and start building these factories. That may become a problem, but we'll see. We can always change it. And the reason why, intersection, 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 and they're pretty close together. Light traffic right now, but that could become...
problem. here now what we need to do is we need to work on our wealth so when you click here and click here so my city hall is creates this level of wealth even though these are here you can see that they are sending out some wealth and then the factories of course are low wealth so let's kind of stay close to City Hall and we need to take a look at health again so sports I don't know why I just I love the sports fields they're a little expensive nature Actually, what we could do let's do this police because we need to do it anyway 30,000 some tax revenue in. Instead of a $30,000 police, let's do let's just do the baseball. That's $10,000. That's a nice large area nice see automatically houses start changing things start changing because they're changing up in their wealth so instead of a smaller house like this the house is gonna upgrade a bit now when that happens population can drop and this should start to so nice availability of jobs traffic is not bad not bad at all health yeah we need to add on so that on here there now we've got good capacity for health Go ahead and how much is 
That's 15,000. got a lot of the basics fire in the city so one fire in the city but you notice he kind of well two fires in the city and one fire truck so definitely let's But he's able to get to the fires before the house burns down, so that's good. Now a lot of these moving trucks are contributing to our issue, but as I said, this intersection But I already have an idea of how I'm going to address that. What's that? Okay, a mayor's house. The mayor's house is free and it raises medium. So, for free, let's put the mayor, me, Maybe close to the baseball stadium. Let's do... So when you... Keep a certain level of satisfied cust of uh, residents... Let's take a look at the... Yeah. Right next to the baseball. That expanded that. Nice. Okay. So that must mean 74% approval rating, and it's going up with residents, commercial, and industry. Ten thousand residents. I have available jobs. Factories are being built. And it's nighttime again. I know that there are games out there where the, the action level is higher. I know that there are games where you run around and you shoot, and I do like those, don't get me wrong, but sometimes it's just good to... Let's do... I am building up a little bit of... And as I said earlier, I want to make sure I've got that. How much is that? That is 25,000 hold off on that for right now power I think electricity is going to be next crime did I ever do my police station
that's going to affect the police station right around here thirty thousand got a lot of the basics electricity and not for much longer are we going to be dealing with wind power water sewage we're going to be upgrading that soon government okay trash so I am collecting with two garbage trucks let's do that it's five thousand dollars so let's put that it, a lot of this is really just trying to stay ahead of any potential problems fire zero buildings burned down per day i wish that could stay that way <laughs> it, it won't um two deaths how are we doing here what's going on okay so let's dollars right there okay and let's go ahead and upgrade this to high high High, high density. Am I missing anything? looks like high density now you notice how traffic moves even quicker so the higher the density the traffic moves quicker more efficiently and let's go ahead and let's pause deal with this I didn't want to do that all right so first of all straight line let's go across here Connect this. Start a 
upgrading some more. Alright, let's get closer so it's not quite so twitchy. Alright. couple of intersections a little close to each other but I think let's just do this all right So if I am going to have issues, the issue is going to be there, so we may have to make some changes there, but overall, not bad. Especially when you think about the concept of a lot of times building, you know, if this was flat on the ground. So yes, you can see I can get into and out of the city really really well now once you get in you may run into some but at least we're not running into major choke points just getting into the city there is no worse feeling than playing this game and seeing traffic lined up outside of the city trying to get in that's a sure sign that your city's in trouble if they can't if they can't get in then your trade is is in trouble. All right, nice. We've got available jobs. We've got an approval rating going up. Abandoned building. Now, when you have an abandoned building, it's good to find out why. Okay, building fire. So in the early stages, you really want to, don't just knock down an abandoned building, but you want to find out why it's abandoned. That can be a clue. Okay, and then we're at a point now where we can talk about density. So this building density so as you can see we've got a couple of areas that are starting to turn green right here that means these individuals are really getting close to expanding the reason why these are not expect ready to expand is because they went from low wealth to medium wealth so they haven't been there as long but you have an area Let's look at industry. So it's still in the early stages. Well, we've got money. We've got people moving in. at 11% so that is a tax rate that is that will be good for medium and low wealth once I can set taxes for all three then we'll adjust that but overall not bad not bad all right let's start making some we're making money now.
So electricity. Right now we have, okay, see that 2.7 needed, 5.4 capacity. We are starting to approach. This is very important. Global deliveries of crude oil. You want that on. Other, otherwise, you'll run out of fuel for your plant. I don't think it makes a difference, but let's put a sign. And once people start working... Then we'll knock down the wind power. All right. Start upgrading. Nine thirty at night, so they may not there. Okay. So this is gonna be a good spot for I'll do it. And what we were paying to run that. Now that's a good spot for Sewage treatment. Do it. All right. Perfect. Now, once that starts running, your advisor is going to panic. Or not, sh I shouldn't say panic, but it's going to l let you know that there's an issue because this is already working. See that? Obsolete. So because it's obsolete. Good. Let's upgrade these roads here. High, medium, medium. Really, the only thing left is water. Lots of water. Excellent. Excellent. Lots of water. And look how far away the water is from pollution. Because this, and I think this will be okay, but, yeah. So the pollution, and I, it, it it's doubtful that the pollution is going to travel that far, but I don't want to take any chance. And you can click on it. 
and the water supply, the pollution level, it's clean. Crime in progress. So, so, see that freaking out over one crime. So do and they got him. So do not let the advisors. So now, power. Nice surplus of power. Water. No surplus yet because nobody has got gone to work. They will. Sewage. Government. We're collecting all of our garbage. What was that? Oh, okay. We're collecting our garbage. Fire. Health. We do have some people that are... We'll keep an eye on that. Crime. And now, schools. And schools are by far important. So now let's, and this may be about the point where we start to wrap up this first episode. Now let's talk about schools and why they're so important. So, the game, we have high schools, we have universities, but the thing is, is what's really important is community college. Once I get 800 students, the community college will be unlocked. So, I'm going to start out with the grade school. The grade school is going to be expensive on the front end. But I'm go eventually going to um, switch over to community college. But here's what's extremely important about education. So, educated houses consume less power and water. Educated Sims are less likely to start fires. Educated houses create fewer criminals. Sims in educated buildings get sick less often. So think about that. High levels of education filter across to, to all other aspects. So where do we want to So I don't want to create any additional traffic heading to my factories. So let's do this. Let's get Let's get a grade school. We have 854 students. So actually, so what that means is I need 800 students in a city. So what we need to do is just satisfy that. So So right now I have 150 classrooms. 350 550, 650, okay, that's my limit, so I can teach 950 students, so right now this is very expensive, but that's temporary. Now, some students will walk to school. 
let's not do that. Let's go ahead. Let's not have all of the students walk to school. School bus. School bus. School. You notice my school buses, I'm keeping them on one side of the road. And that's going to translate over even when I do public transportation. I'm not going to have the buses do a lot of zigzagging. People are happy about that. See that? Okay. And... have two school buses. Let's put two more down. Great. And I should... It's going on 3 p.m. So by tomorrow or the day after, I should have taught. Because once I teach 800 then I can put down community colleges. And once I unlock community colleges, that, that'll be it. I will not do high schools. And the only reason that I will do a university, and I won't do a university in this city, uh, university will only be because I want to do research. All right. And then once again, just a real good way just to make sure what's going on. Or are we okay? <laughs> Power. Water. Sewage. A lot of green. That's a good sign. Waste. It is going on 5 p.m. And I'm almost at my so that's an indication so it's almost 5 p.m. and I have not collected all garbage now I did put that that at those extra garbage trucks down during the day but that is a sign that it it's not a bad idea for more garbage and it's also it's expensive, but I really want to burn up. I just don't want to have to deal with filling that up. All right. So it is going on 6 p.m. And my original garbage trucks finished there are finishing up. So that's good. Tomorrow, I will have two extra garbage trucks. Fire. Health. And early on in the game, that this tends to happen where I do have some. So health. Let's see here. Health. Okay. And that's going to relieve some of the pressure on that clinic. Police. School. 44 students. Tomorrow that's going to change. And mass transit. I think, let's see, how much is it? I think we're close to that. Baseball park. Okay. 79% approval rating. We're making money. Wait, let's look at the bonds. Can I pay off a bond and take out another bond? So... Pay that off. Pay that off. I think I'm going to take out some additional bonds just to. 
actual cash flow available lots of available jobs city started out it grew here bit of a dip and this dip happened when I switched from low wealth to medium wealth and it the city has to kind of recoup bonds let's do a fifty thousand dollar bond that might do it let's not take out any more bonds right now we may well let's go ahead bond fifty thousand dollar bond okay nice Not a ton of people in the city, so mass transit is a bit overkill, but it would be nice. I think I want to do it because I want to just, it's not crowd. Okay, mass transit. Let's do one bus. Okay, so I now have six buses. Not enough bus stops, I know that. So once again, I am not going to crisscross with buses. So all buses are on one side of the road so no crisscrossing I definitely want people to be able to get off of a bus in a commercial area so if I have buses going on both sides of the road that that creates traffic issues so just one side of the road get up here commercial maybe on that side of the road that side of the road excellent all right what's wrong crime in progress and you got him now that crime will start to go down as people get educated but it's not bad because if you look at crime you'll see zero crimes committed because they're catching the criminals before they actually commit the crime so for example let's see I think I saw something see, there's a there's a criminal oh, whoops let's pause going to steal something so let's follow okay he's committing a crime and they got him so he did not he was in the process of committing the crime but they got him so that's zero zero crimes committed he tried but he didn't make it and my jail I've got eight people in jail so let's put in a ground level and then what we'll what we'll do is you can edit it and then shut that jail down because at some point we're not going to need
So as you can see, we haven't even touched oil. Gotta have a self sufficient you gotta have a, a, a city that's working I don't think I've encroached on oil yet perfect all right excellent how's my school so I think okay schools hour 6 a.m. to 3 so let's take a look at my students. There's education. So the purple students not enrolled. So I need that purple to go green. I need more and more students. And as the buses go, you'll see my purple is sl slowly going away. See the purple? And once I get to the point where I am teaching over 800 students, we'll put down community colleges. Well, that's, that's first phase. We've got a city. We've got some people, we've got our roads, we've got power, water, sewage, government building, fire, we've got school, we got buses. Let's knock down some see now once again it's important why okay building fire why building fire okay why building fire okay so now people are moving in look at the traffic look at my garbage truck being held up so now once people get moved in that's gonna help but think about it if this let's say that was a major road into the city that is the reason why I gotta have that nice nothing backed up no cars backed up getting into the city. Excellent. My freight. Let's give them some more. They're filling that up. Excellent. All right. So I will move on from Department of Utilities and it's a toss up, you know, transportation or finance. But this city is going to become the money maker so that other cities I can send resources to them and they can get off to a better start or an easier start. But overall, I'm, I'm happy. It's always fun to do this because it, it's always just a little bit different. Um, the one thing that I know that's going to happen is I know that I'm going to work my way into a roundabout but sometimes it's one roundabout, two roundabouts, three roundabouts, really depending on what I'm trying to accomplish. Uh, this intersection so far has not been too bad. But all in all, good. How's my school doing? 
300, 400, 420, and school between 6 and 3. Or 73 so I may it may cause traffic let's see here and this is so temporary because once I get a community college I could put a school there or there doesn't really matter let's see here yep I got close I got close to 500 students so let's stay residential Actually, you know what? I'm going to lose a a building. And 550 students there. Two school buses. And excellent. All right. So by the end of tomorrow, or the day after, I will have taught enough students where, because what's, what's happening is, as you can see, education. I'm spending a lot of money on education because this elementary school, $1,300 an hour and $900 an hour. And a community college is much so, much more bang for the buck. Well, I'm happy with this. This looks good. So what I think I'm going to do, I think this is going to do it for this. So let's save. All right, let's save and That's it. I've got some demand for residential. We're making money. And you know what? 9 p.m. Sun's going down. So let's watch the sun go down. Uh, also, I do have videos where I'm building a city with no commentary. It's just me building a city with... Um, some music in the background and you can watch that as well and you'll see that yes like I said no commentary but same concept you'll see where I rode in roundabout and I believe in that city I, I, it, I start out with oil and um, electronics so alright excellent sun's gone down I do thank you I just, uh, this is so much fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to stop this, grab a bite of eat, grab a bite to eat, and, <laughs> and then probably start right back up. So thank you for watching, and we will see you next episode, which basically as soon as I finish eating, I'll fire this up and we'll get started again. But we'll see you next time. Take care.